Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's a cold Monday morning. Uh, we have a lot on this week. Uh, I'm here at uh, Melton Road Farm, Elsham, near Elsham, and uh, got to drop the low loader off and uh, try to back to uh, to Low Risby. We've uh, got the Michelin tyre man representative coming out to us to uh, have a look at our tyres on the tractor and uh, see what pressures we can run at them in them because uh, the the very latest the uh, Michelin Axia Bib 2 tires or is it zero bib 2 tires oh look ha. nice Axia Axio 2 bib tires that's it I'll get it right and uh, they can be run at uh, real low pressures for on the road and the same pressure when you go on the, in the field tyre technology has really moved on they're uh, what they call a VF tyre, a very high flexation tyre. So uh, yeah, they're uh, really suited to uh, a wide range of applications. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll see how that goes later with him uh, putting them on the way cells and how we do it and everything. So uh, yeah, we'll best crack on. There we go, Axio Bib 2s, which is Michelin Ultraflex technology, yeah. That's what coming to test, but uh, high FVF standard. On the rear, we have VF710 60s B42s. And on the front, we have VF600s B60 B30s. So, yeah, it'll be really interesting to see what we can let them down to with the sprayer on or a trailer and be good for road work. I think at the minute there's about 12 psi in them, but uh, we shall be checking them anyway. Uh, well, I've done, we've uh, put a corn trailer on and we've loaded it up with wheat. So now it's uh, made the tractor squat down with more load on the rear axle. Basically what, what he's gonna do, he's gonna come with the uh, load cells and we will draw onto the load cells with the tractor and trailer and see how much weight is on each back on the axle and on each individual tire. And he'll do a calculation. And from that calculation, he will uh, determine what load pressure you can go at and it'll say what forward speed we can do as well. As you can see, the flexing a bit more now. But, uh, yeah, I would think we're not far off, but uh, anyway, you'll see when we, when we do it. Just offloading uh, a load of fertiliser for the uh, coming uh, spring from Compound. I've also got in here. This is for the peas. We've got potash. We've got all sorts in here, different blends and everything. TSP, potash, that for the peas, yeah, everything's catered for. Last one, it's 29 tons brought in total. today in Whitwell from Michelin. Thank you for coming. And we've got ben obviously from PMBs and George from PMBs. So we're going to talk us through what we're going to do now please. Yeah. Um, we'll go through tyre ident identification if you want or we can skip through that how we work yeah. out the sizing and everything. Yeah you can do please yeah. yeah no problem. Um, basically so that you know that you've got the new technology you've got the VF in front which stands for very high flexion. Yeah. 
The next part is 600, which is in millimetres, which is the actual width of the tyre. But yeah. a lot of people get confused about this because it's not the actual measurement shoulder to shoulder of the lugs. Right. Under the European Tire and Rim Organisation, with the correct weight and pressure, you actually are measuring from bulge to bulge. Oh, right. And yeah, that's, that's interesting. And that's you can get quite yeah. a variation in width. Yeah. Because you can go from standard tyre to IF, which is improved flexion, all the way to VF. Yeah. Okay. The next bit is 60, which is the, the, the depth there, yep. which is a percentage, just to confuse you. Uh, so it's a, a percentage of the width. The R stands for radial construction, and then 30 is the actual rim diameter. Yep. Now, in a lot of cases, that's everything that people are interested in. Yeah. But for a tire nerd like myself, <laughs> what the most interesting bit is down here, which is the load index. Okay? Right. So if you look here closely, it's not... <laughs> It's 162D. Yeah. So if one of my trusty assistants looks in his uh, data book. In his book, book, yeah. Which was in section five in the new book, with a, which was hard to find. <laughs> the, the 162 stands for the load index. Same yeah. as you would on a car yeah. tyre or yes. a lorry tyre. Yeah, maximum load. And the D load. is what speed it's been done Speed at, rating. D is yeah. 65K. Yeah. Now Ben is fevering away in the back of the book, keep going. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Past all the orange pages. Yeah, we're going to the yellow look here. Yeah. Contents. Load indications and speed yeah, so ratings. We want 162. So we want uh I'm still learning these down the bottom 162. here. 162. Yeah. So your load rating is 4,750 kilos per tyre. So that's a front yep. tyre that can carry that amount of weight. Yeah, at what okay. PSI is that at length? Um, now we've got to go back to another page. Yeah, probably 29 PSI. Yeah, yeah, so sort of. Top. Yeah. That was the one that we just yeah. looked at on the well, That's a good two. load, that. Uh, so we are on the front, which is a 660R30. What did we say? 4,000. You go 65k right to the very end. 4,750. 29, 29 PSI. PSI. Yeah, yeah. spot on. So, yeah. the, 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 so the newer design side wall means that it can go higher than 15 PSI, yeah. which was the same on the Zio bib, uh, and that's how it can carry yeah. higher, loads. higher loads. Yeah, okay. so yeah, looking forward to seeing what we can get away with. Then. So yeah. what we're going to do now is we're going to get the waste cells out under each wheel. Yeah. We'll drive them onto the middle of the pad, and we'll get the actual weight so that we yeah. can then look in the technical data book, yeah. which will transfer it into a recommended pressure for you. Brilliant. Right. Okay. We'll well, do the same on the back as yeah. well. Right. We'll, we'll pull her on then, John. We're just going to drive onto the load cells. Stop. Now he's going to take a reading, we'll just have a look at that, see what it is. Yeah, 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 the lunch now. bag's empty now. Now that you've jumped out, that yeah. would have put it wide up, you see. Right, yeah, <laughs> definitely, yeah. I and mean, the lunch bag's it's empty, so it's got to be a lot left. Yeah, so you want the back okay, ones on. The yep. on yeah. The yeah, thanks, All Ben. Right. Yeah, brilliant. See the scales that it's washing? Yeah, it's close up to it. Just 
done the photo. He's done the photo, I'm going to say, I've got to be honest, I can't see him from this angle. 3982. We were a bit close. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem with the deflection yeah. of the tyre. Yeah, 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 big tyre. 25 k for your tyre. We're this is the front tyre. Yeah, yeah, we're looking for a minimum of 2,300 kilograms per yeah. tyre. Yeah. And that would be at 9 psi in the field, but for road work, if you're doing a lot, we'd put another 2 or 3 psi in. So, realistically, Doing road work, we're looking at 12 psi with 2.3 yeah. tons. Yeah, so that's with that 1200 kgs on the front at the minute. Yeah, so yeah. at the minute you were on 2200, so you're yeah. slightly under already. Really? Yeah. yeah. And that's at 65 kilometers. And that's yeah. at 65 kilometers. I was going to say, we're running 55 k. Yeah, yeah, so that yeah. the slower you go, yeah. it'll carry more weight. Yeah. So. So theoretically, you could have 12 psi in the back. Yeah. But we were, for for doing a lot of road work, we'd always say another couple of three psi on the yeah. top. So yeah, realistically, 15, 16. 15, 16 with a fully loaded better. trailer. Yeah. yeah, 55. Yeah. That's good then. That. Yeah. Definitely. With the tyre being mainly natural product, rubber. Yeah. With all the other bits that go in with it. It can actually talk to you to make yeah. sure that you're doing everything right. Yes. So what we, if you're in a draft application, and this is only draft, you need to take special notice of the back... Of the, the back side of the, of the tyre. The t cleat of the tyre at the base. Yeah. And you should have mild creasing yeah. there, a little bit like stretch yeah. marks on your skin. Yeah. Okay? It should be the same colour as the rest of the carcass. Yeah. If you've gone a bit too far and you're a bit too low with your pressures, yeah. then this mild creasing will turn into deep black cracks. Right, okay? and that's damaging. You, you, it, too it, low pressure. As long as you get catch yeah. it straight away, it doesn't mean yeah. you've got no yeah. detriment at all. Yeah. All you've got to do is put maybe one, it could be two PSI maximum yeah. in, just to and stop then within it. a day, yeah. it'll have gone back to just being yeah. creased. Right. Okay? Yeah. So that, that's front and back. The other thing is, just to make sure you've got the balance right and that you've got your tyres working properly, is unless it's directly in the sunlight in the summer, put your hand on the side of the tyre and check that the temperature yeah. is pretty similar front to back. Yeah. If one's cold, a lot colder well, the, than the other, it's yeah. not working right. Yeah. Then it's either you've got the balance wrong or you need to get the pressures right. Right. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Thank you very much. Explaining that. Yep. Remember that. We'll come to use it on heavy draft. Right, we've got to swap over now. We've got the sprayer on. This is what I'm interested in to see now. See what we can let the tyres down to because I've been running them at, as there was at 12 psi, but he says I think we'll be able to get them down lower, so we'll see. We weighed the sprayer and uh, obviously it was lighter than what the trailer was, what I've got on, but uh, yeah, well, I didn't show the workings out because uh, it was the same as before. But anyway, the end result was. If I run the sprayer full, at full capacity, I can get the tyre pressures or lower the tyre pressures down to 9 psi in the rear and 9 psi in the front. But well, that's a maximum of 30k on the road, but to be honest, don't go flat out like that on the road, especially for a full tank full. And it's very rare I have a crammed full tank like that anyway, so uh, that's good news. Run them at 9 psi and uh, don't create so many ruts, hopefully. Last of the ploughing. George is finishing it off. It's just next to the uh, plantation we cleaned out. We had some big bonfires on this, so but, uh, it's really ploughing up dry. Yeah, 
Well, that's it for this week's edition of Video Diary on the Farm. It's been an interesting week, especially with uh, getting Michelin tyre people out to uh, chew the tyre pressures and that on the uh, 724. Learned something, that uh, you do need a front weight block on, even when you haven't got a lot on the back. It's to make the tyres flex, so they wear evenly. He says the court most damage to the tyres caused by uneven wear is without running with enough weight on the tyres on these new modern radials. So uh, there you go. Anybody who thinks you shouldn't have front end weight on, it's good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have, please hit that like, share and subscribe button, especially the subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel if you're watching it and you like it because it would uh, really help the channel to go forward. Anyway, thanks once again for watching. See you next week. Oh, and just remember, it is free to subscribe.